Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of March 23rd. Ooh, I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting digitally across from me as you and I breathe. Alex. Hello, everyone. How are you, Alex? I am good. You got the... Uh you got the founder of Apple kind of vibe going with, uh, my God, I'm blanking on his name. Steve Jobs. Got the Steve okay. Jobs thing going there. Like all black oh, shirt. Yeah. Oh, and like the, enveloped yeah, into the darkness. A, you don't got the turtleneck. Yeah, I don't got the turtleneck, but the beard makes it seem like it's it all does. like. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you look almost like enveloped in shadow, which I like mm-hmm. very much. Achievers, welcome back. Now, we had some breaking news, so I'm very excited actually to get into the show. Before we get into the actual rapid fire news, you know the drill. YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. We are the Easy Achievers Game Podcast. Coming to you every single Friday. This episode is coming a little early. I'm getting married. So we're going to record this a little Ooh. early, but we're also going to post it a little early as well. I, while we're, We want to be on top of the news that's actually breaking right now, the Apex news. You've seen the thumbnail, yep. so you know what it is. But we want to kind of be as early as we can to this. We didn't want to sit on it for another day. So, yay, you have a treat a day early. Now, hmm. podcast service, five star reviews, etc. Patreon.com slash YouTubers, financial, blah, blah, blah. <gasps> rapid fire for the week. Alex, before we get into the rapid fire, of course, I start this podcast every single week with one question. What have you been playing? Uh, it's, it's still Can the same. Can we guess man. what he's been playing, everyone? Let's say Elden Ring, dude, all day, every day. I had, is that right? I had. How close am I? It's you're pretty much spot on, my man. Nice. Literally, I fin I finished my first playthrough with okay. 110 hours in. Okay. With level 162, and I'm starting. A, I already started a new character, and I'm already 12 hours in, and I'm already level 87. Yeah. So all right. Yeah, I already You're on top this of game. It. Yeah. You're on top of it. You're trying to get the thousand, right? Yep. Yep. Trying to get the thousand. So you're chipping mm-hmm. away at that. Two achievements away from that. I just need to do the endings. That's the only ones you have left, just endings. Yep, just endings. That's pretty cool. All right. So you're yep. close. Yep. You're close. Now, yeah, just... do you have anything new to bring up uh, an Elden Ring? We've been talking about it a bit, so we don't have to say too much on it, but is there something else? I mean, this is it's pretty rare that you've played a game for this long and you're doing no, a for second sure. playthrough. So is there something you want to bring up about the game? I mean, other than from like the big patch that we had, I mean, a lot of things are not uh, doable anymore. So people who are like, you know, they, you're able to do certain things with certain bosses. Can't really do those tactics anymore. You got to find new ways. People have found new ways to do it, which is mm. crazy already. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, like the weapons, um, I haven't has, I mean, it's not a crazy difference. I mean, like, yeah, like they, they used to do an absurd amount of damage, but now it's like, it's just like, okay. I mean, it still does. It still does a lot. It's just not literally, you're not one hitting. Yeah. So it's still usable. So, um, and you're talking about the patch that went live, um, correct, nerfing a, a good bit of weapons yeah. in the game. Correct. So you have to change up your playstyle a little yep. bit. Now, most things that were nerfed, like you bring up, were pretty preposterous, the damage yeah. they were doing. I yeah, saw sure. what you were doing with the uh, Sword, uh, of, Sword of Night and Flame. That was yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, so I, could see, I could see why they needed to nerf a couple couple things. Yeah. Frost Stomp was one of them. That was just insane. Mm-hmm. I'm actually planning on getting that sword again because I have it. Mm-hmm. I already ha- I gra- I grabbed it. I just need to get my faith up, and I'm going to try it to see what the difference is. Right. Because it scales with faith and intelligence, but my intelligence is at 65, so I'm like, I wonder if it'll do so much damage, or do I need to bring up my faith? I don't know. Yep. We'll see. So I have to see what, what scaling it works, yep. but love this game. I finished Elden Ring. I beat it completely to the end. I did the night ending. I won't spoil what it is. I just, I'll say night. You know what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, I... I could, once I picked it up, I couldn't stop. So I played until yeah. I beat it. Loved my time with it. I'm gonna probably come back two thousand it. As of right now, though, I had to jump back to her. So I'm in the no, middle of sure, Horizon, still playing it. Yeah, just and luckily it. I had the time to finish that, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, no spoilers, but just so people who have played Horizon know, I have hit, I have hit the West, 
the most west yeah. you can go, I guess, is what yeah is what I mean. So I've hit the, <laughs> the big... more the most west you can go. Yeah, the most west. I don't want to spoil it just in case there's some prudes no, and you yeah. know that haven't gotten to it yet. But yeah, I've hit the western part of the map if you know what I mean. So I just yeah. got there. Gonna figure stuff out from that. I am gonna platinum this game. That's a guaranteed platinum. So I'm platinuming this. Oh, easy. So I'm going. I'm hope. I'm hoping. As of next recording, an easy plan. knock on wood. I platinum the game, which yeah. is completely doable. So I'm doing that. Oh, for sure. Um, aside from that, nothing really else. Destiny, like always. So nothing. Yeah. No, nothing. No. My. I've really been spending most of my time playing Elden Ring and Horizon. Mm-hmm. So nothing really else. Really, after this, it's kind of waiting for Lego, Star Wars. Mm-hmm. And um, Tiny it's Tina's Wonderland. Week. Speaking of which, Tiny Tina's Wonderland had some previews go out. People have played the game. They're going to talk about the game. People um, have uh, preview coverage. So there's a couple things of like, you know, how IGN always does their first 15 minutes of the game. There's a couple, uh, what would you call them, show off of classes. Uh, yeah. One I really enjoyed was nine minutes of the spell shot class, which was really cool to watch. Um, it gives yeah. you a taste of how the gameplay is going to work. I'm. It actually got me a little more excited for the game than I originally was. Uh, the crossbow gun, in particular, is like mm-hmm. okay. If they can get, if they can keep that kind of more fun, unique kind of gameplay elements keeping in that game, it got me a lot more interested than I originally thought it was going to be. So yeah, I'm very excited. Alex, yes, rapid fire. It's a long rapid fire. Alex, you stop me for any of this. Yeah, let me know. So okay. CG Project Red announces slash confirms kind of both, not really. A new Witcher game is in development. They have already technically talked about this, but they gave a couple more little sneak previews. They mm-hmm. announced that they are using Unreal Engine 5 instead of their Red Engine, uh, which is their internal engine. Yeah. And then CDR confirms uh, the, uh, if, if you, I know Achievers, if you haven't seen it, it's, they basically released an image. Go look it up. It's pretty much just a medallion in the snow. But it is actually a Lynx medallion, so it's not if uh, for people it's who not don't know Witcher, wolf. or if you only know it tangentially, there's schools of Witchers, and there's wolf, cat, bear, um, etc. This is a new school, specifically, and it's a Lynx, so we don't know if that's going to belong into the cat, or if it's a completely different like school and and who who knows people are speculating it might be siri based we have no way of knowing that so yeah. i don't know why people um, you know are assuming it's about her i could i could tell that they've already been like yeah we're done with cyberpunk and working with that let's just continue <laughs> let's just move it, on it definitely seemed like um uh I they think released was... the they released the new version they're like okay here it is all right goodbye we're going it def- to the it new definitely game. Uh, Emmett had it great. Emmett Walkers Jr. regularly coming on the show. He had a great tweet kind of summarizing what it felt like. It felt like Mm -hmm. when uh, Bioware announced that they were working on Mass Effect after Anthem. We're like, hey, Mm -hmm. you remember that? Let's forget about Mm -hmm. that. We're we're, we're going to Mass Effect. You remember Mass Effect, right? Like He he had a a, a great tweet about that. I was like, that pretty much summarizes how that went. Like, hey, we still got thing you like. We're going to go back to that. Aside from that, Alex, I don't have anything else to bring up about that. What do you think? Um, I mean, I, I'm Nothing, excited. Right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, excited, I mean, but like, we don't have anything to go on. Yeah, like, I'm right? excited. It's a new Witcher game. Yeah, but that's it. That's all we got. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Jones is retiring. He did this in a Twitter video. If you don't know who Brandon Jones is, he's a pretty big figure in uh, gaming news and uh coverage in general he ran game trailers back in the day which was an, it's an older thing a lot of newer people won't remember that but game trailers and also uh he founded easy allies which is a, a very big uh podcast right now i think it's the second most subscribed to patreon gaming uh patreon period i think oh wow i think they're second so they're they're huge they're huge and yeah. He is actually retiring, leaving like pretty quickly. I think he said he's gonna he's gonna be gone in like the next month. Uh, this dropped pretty pretty fast. I watched his video, kind of confirming. He's like, "Hey, I've been working on this since last July." You know, he kind of mentions like, "Hey, you know, it's time for me just to move on." He said he might do some VO for the channel for a little while, but aside from that, he's retiring. So sounds like that man's made money and he's ready to go. Hey, I get it. I'd be right there with you, bro. He probably made a shit ton of money and was like, "You know what? Retiring." Uh, I think he's uh, starting a family now, too, and things. So mm-hmm. we'll see. 
Uh, speaking of people retiring, Blair Herder is leaving G4 TV. Stated uh, several reasons. It was a very hilarious uh, video of Xavier Woods pretending like he was a Blair Herder, saying he was leaving as Blair Herder. Very weird, but hilarious video. Online, he states family reasons. He's going to go move, and he wants his uh, kid to like experience the world. So he said he's moving to the Netherlands. So he's completely leaving G4. So he basically resurrected G4 TV alongside... Um, uh, an ex-friend, I believe, uh, and is leaving it immediately. So very interesting that he started G4 TV, and I mean, it's Alex two years, right? That G4 has been back. No, no, no? has it been? I thought it's been only been like a year. I think I'm okay. So I think I'm including the announcement that they were coming back. So let's. Oh, so I, I, so I gotcha. it's hard to say. Like when they started airing, yeah, probably less than a year actually. Um, very interesting that he started G4 again and is now immediately leaving. So, you know, yeah. maybe I'm reading too much into that, but that's, you know, weird. I just want to point that out. Uh, Alex, I still have not literally watched a single thing of G4 TV. Have you? Mm-mm. Okay, I haven't either. It was one of those things where I thought I would. But then you realize you just don't have time to digest all this. Yeah, it says G4 TV. The la- the latest video they had, what, or the, like the earliest, it says one year ago. Oh, well, yeah. So yeah. about a year they've been actively posting mm-hmm. content. I'm curious if this was always the plan or if something came up. Um, it did seem sudden. It seemed like he's dipping out pretty quickly. He's straight up leaving the country So, uh, with mm-hmm. his family. Jessica Chobot, actually. Mm-hmm. You know that? Um... Uh, moving on, PS5's variable refresh rate feature is coming soon and will work on any game. This is one thing that was sorely missed at launch. Um, Xbox Series X has variable refresh rate. PS5 did not. Now, they did state it is coming and it will work throughout all games, apparently. So, very first off impressive that it's going to work on any game. Secondly, uh, it's a welcome uh, addition. I'm hoping in the coming months means like, you know, at least by September. Hopefully we mm. see this thing because I a variable refresh rate is awesome. I have used it on my new TV. It is great. Highly recommend it if you have a compatible monitor or television. Couple reviews to shout out. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands are getting reviews all over the place. Pretty positive reviews as well as Kirby the Forgotten Lands. Reviews are all out as well. Uh, expect preview coverage or expect some coverage of Tiny Tina Wonderlands from us. Kirby the Forgotten Lands. This isn't the channel for that. Probably not going to talk about that literally at all. So if you want to check out those reviews for Kirby, check those out. We're most likely not going to cover that at all. Tiny Tina's, of course, just depending on when we get the when we get the game and when we. This is this was originally going to be a full story, but it was pushed to rapid fire because it seems to have kind of been handled. So, Alex, I don't know if you heard any of this. Achievers, I don't know if you have either, but there has been a giant copyright takedown extravaganza of Bungie content throughout YouTube. I am not saying, like, casual copyrights. I'm saying copyright strikes, as in the things that get your channel deleted. Alex, Mm. I don't know if you know this. Uh, I'm sure you do, but I will explain it, just in case there's an achiever out there. No, a copyright strike and a monetization kind of take is different things but they kind of sound Mm. similar so if you get um i forget the word that they take your monetization for the video but there's basically like a uh copyright for like anytime me and alex watch a react to something whoever we're reacting to most likely has already copywritten our video and is taking monetization off the video Right. So for people who are actually making money off that video, they're actually taking your money from that. Now, a copyright strike is a very big deal. That can get your channel deleted. Three strikes, you're gone. Period. Like they delete your channel. Now, of course, when you're making money off of YouTube, that's pretty scary. Mm. Now, this was actually happening with Bungie's music and actually a bunch of their actual coverage, gaming coverage. Um, one of the most prominent people in the kind of Bungie uh, Destiny, like creator space, his name's Astacross. He actually got two copyright strikes for his channel, and that's one strike away from your channel being deleted. So, uh, yeah, so he he had to like make a video like, hey, I can't post for a while just in case this is like something that's going to actually delete my channel. Apparently, that was made in error. He's already gotten those strikes taken away. But that was a scary couple days for a lot of content creators. Um, mm-hmm. There's a guy named My Name Is Fife that does lore videos. He almost had his channel deleted too. 
Um, again, all this was made in the air. Most of it seems to have been taken care of. The only thing that's still up in the air is if they're going to leave music on YouTube. It seems like they're not. Um, I read somewhere that most likely maybe there's something going on with Sony that they want to start selling their soundtracks. So they want to take it off YouTube. So they want to start, you know, monetizing their soundtracks versus just giving it away on YouTube. Who knows? I have no idea, but that could be a reason. Could be a bunch of reasons. But I wanted to quickly bring that up as a rapid fire. Uh, this is a hilarious one I just saw <laughs> a couple minutes ago. Snoop Dogg is joining Call of Duty Season 3, so he's going to be a playable um, operator in Call of Duty Season 3. Uh, fuck yeah. <laughs> it, looks like he, it looks like he's some type of drug lord, by the way, on his throne. They, they know what they're doing. <laughs> they yeah. know what they're doing with that. He looks pretty cool. I will be mm. interested to see what his actual in-game model looks like. Uh, yeah. So, looking forward to that now. Alex, let's get into the news yes. for the week. We talked about it earlier. There was a giant Apex Legends leak. Huge. Huge leak that uh, if, if, if it is real, which, I mean, you'd have to be pretty crazy to fake all this. So I'm going to pretty much take it all as pretty much true. Uh, Achievers, yeah. you make that decision for yourself, of course. But we're going to cover it. This is breaking as of a few hours ago. So we're going to read straight up from IGN. This is by uh, Ryan Dinsdale. Now, this is, of course, just covering the actual Reddit post that it's from. So this is from uh, Charlie Intel. Like, this is reported on by that actual place. But an anonymous Reddit user published a now-deleted file of Apex Legends content that included gameplay footage detailing a number of previously unseen heroes. Now, all of these heroes that you're going to see in this picture I'm about to bring up, because I want to show you guys. Oh, of course, if you play Apex Legends, you will not recognize any of these people because they're not in the game. But we're going to show you. Boom. Now, this is all now recently deleted. And you're probably going to have some trouble viewing it on YouTube because it's going to look a little grainy because it's blown up so much. But you can kind of see the roster there. Uh, pretty wild, Alex. That First off, all mm -hmm. this was, was uh, shown off. We have a good bit to bring out. So we're going to cover... Hold on. Now. Cool. Now, 15 leaked videos showing off new maps for arena mode, weapons. There were two guns. Nemesis, BAR, and the Fnatic Energy Pistol. Cosmetics, gameplay of the legends... Um, and there's, uh, the new playable characters are listed on the thing. I will read them out for audio listeners. Caliber, Catalyst, Conduit, Jester, Newcastle, Phantom, Scryer, Uplink, and Vantage. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a full breakdown actually on Reddit. We're only going to cover a couple of these because we'd be going on forever if we covered every single detail about this thing. But we're going to cover one of the legends, uh, because they sounded really cool. Uh, Newcastle was featured extensively in one of the videos. This is probably the reason he was probably featured extensively is most likely he's the one coming up or at least yeah. very closely to the one coming up. So we have full on abilities and ults for this guy already. So wow. here we go. He, uh, he's described as a mobile defender. He can create and cover and revive teammates. The footage even outlines his abilities. It's called Retrieve the Wounded, which lets the player drag downed allies while you revive and protect them with a shield. Mobile shield, a throwable droid that creates a moving energy shield. That's probably going to be what his actual ability he does, so he'll throw a shield. Mm. And his ultimate, Castle Wall, where Newcastle leaps in the air, slamming down to create a fortified stronghold. So this guy's like Fortnite, but a character, sounds like. So, Alex, you... Mm. I would say huge Apex Legends mm -hmm. fan. What do you think of this giant leak? Now, this is a pretty, I mean, this is a pretty sizable leak. This is not small potatoes. Uh, yeah. Nine plus heroes means realistically, this is like, like the next three years of content yeah. for them. That's, that's pretty conservative to say that. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about this? It's nuts, and I feel like uh, they're going to have to change a lot, or I don't know if they're going to even... Uh, it'll be surprising if really, they you keep think, any of this. Really? You think they'll... They're definitely not going to change... If it's real, they won't change it just because they, or they leaked, change, right? or, or they change some of it. They'll be like, just because, I mean, like, well, then, if we... Let's say let's say Caliber. It's like, okay. oh, is, you know, he, he won't come out for another two years, so we know he's going to come out in two years. That's not really... Is it exciting? It sounds like something, uh, like, 
Cat's out the back yeah, I guess now, right? The, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess, yeah, it's so, we already know what's coming, so, like, what's the, uh, I mean, it's like, oh, I'm not gonna play him, because he's that, this type of character, so there's no point, I'm not gonna be excited for that, so, mm. it all depends on, so, I don't know, I feel like they're gonna have to either change, either change a lot, or just add different things to be like, oh, well, here's this, you didn't see, to kind of, like, uh, veer away from, from knowing this leak. I, I see. I could see the biggest thing is just changing names, but that won't even happen. I yeah. don't think to either two because it, well, the cat's out the bag. I, I ain't nothing you do about it. Like whoever leaked it, either leak. I mean, this this seems like a sizable leak, so I don't think it was an internal leak. I I imagine someone packed something and stole this. Mm-hmm. Um, could have been internal. I highly doubt it because like they have videos. That's a pretty big deal, and you can sometimes tell where they're from if you like look at them. So I don't think. Someone internally did it, so I think someone actually like yeah. hacked into it. And, and at that point, like, what are you gonna do? Like, you can't do. You, you can't do anything about that. So it's like you just kind of put your hands in the air as a PR person and just go, eh, "Well, you know, we'll try and treat it as new." And and, and even this leak and it, pretty sizable. It's not that big of a deal, I think. Um, yeah, people know no, it. Like, hey, like it's, it's cool. No, it definitely is really cool. Um, but like it's it was a it was a pretty big leak. I do it. To be honest, I haven't played Apex in a long time, so I can't speak to like the excitement of this but it is a pretty big deal let me put up actually thing again actually sorry to add that up. yeah like although um, i mean i'm Rockstar excited to try out any of these people i mean like, i want to play new for the new weapons yeah same. i, I want to play new yeah. that same is fun um uh you can kind of see pictures here achievers uh oh, some are obviously placeholders um jester conduit for instance you know clearly that's there's nothing there uh, a couple other things, you know, that's probably concept art that are thrown in there. Uh, I will shout out Caliber. Looks exactly, Alex, exactly mm-hmm. like uh, Tim Allen's Santa Claus, if you remember that movie. That that mm-hmm. looks exactly like that. Man. Who knows? They could probably have, a, I swear to God, if he oh, voices yes. him, I'd yes. hilarious. They got Tim Allen's Santa Claus, and it's Santa Claus in their world. His name's Caliber, yes. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't really. I mean, you can't really go off much of this stuff. I do. I do like. Is that name Vantage? Yeah, Vantage looks pretty sick. Yeah. Uh, she looks like some sort of sniper character. Mm-hmm. Um, Phantom looks just wild. Phantom looks like they should be in Valorant. If I'm being honest. No, yeah, for sure. Uh, but uh, yeah. what is that, Scryer? Yeah, it looks Scryer? like he has Scryer? Scryer. I think is how. Yeah, it looks like a. He's he has like some a... sort of eye thing there. He has a recon symbol, so that means he's gonna be bloodhound ish in in ways of like tracking people probably yeah so so he'll be some sort of trackers yeah kind of like bloodhound pathfinder uh surprising oh no i forget defender is a thing so technically you'd be a defender not uh, a medic uh yeah that's pretty much it i will say surprisingly um no assault characters maybe jester will be um but caliber has the medic symbol Could be conduit has the medic symbol both yeah. Scriber, Vantage. There's yeah, it looks like the there's three medics, recon. three defenders, and then two recons. Yep. And then now we whatever jester, jester is. is. Yeah. So That's it has to be, point. I'm assuming, on assault. I'm assuming it's gonna be one assault. That'll be your assault. Yeah. Now, to be fair, the last two characters correct me if I'm wrong here, Alex. The last two characters are have been assaults. So that kind of makes they sense. Have. Uh, yeah, they which, have been. with Mad Maggie and Ash, those are the last two characters, right? That right. have been added. Yep. Cool. Yep. So yeah. The last two if characters. If anything, there's been. more assault characters than anything. Oh, easily. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, One, yeah, yeah. two, three, four, five, lot, right? five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine assault characters already. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's why I loved Lifeline so much because, like, she she helps so much with revives. I mean, I God, God this kind of makes me excited for Apex for me. Love mm-hmm. to play some Apex. But uh, that was the giant link. We don't have really much else to say about it. Uh, a lot of that stuff that was shown has been deleted fully. So yeah, not we'll much see. Else to talk about. I'm wondering. A lot we'll of them were showing off of maps. We'll see all of this. Guarantee it. I'm saying when. Like I'm just when, wondering oh, when? when over the next like, like three it. years. <laughs> like, I know, that's true. Yeah, over the next three years, you'll see all of this. It'll be a while till we get caliber Everything. in the game. So we'll see it. And and uh, important to know, of course, this might not be in. Uh, order yeah so caliber could be the next game you know and they're not necessarily in order so i let me clarify that before people uh, say something a quick fortnite speaking of battle royales fortnite uh many fortnite fans noted upcoming with their new season that just launched actually uh why there was no promotion there was zero promotion about the new fortnite mm-hmm. season most people didn't, didn't even, even realize it started well there's yeah. probably a reason for that uh, their latest Uh-oh. season is called Resistance, and it is invasion themed. 
the launch trailer is up if you want to give it a watch. Uh, the invasion team uh, theme is unfortunately time, but there's nothing you could pretty much do about that. Uh, there are tanks and very clearly um, invasion level things happening on the island. You're literally fighting as resistance members. Uh, so it, they couldn't change anything about it probably. So what they did was uh, they announced um, pretty quietly it was at the end of the video, actually, so not super quietly, but they, you know, offhandedly said, hey, starting March 20th through April 3rd, all proceeds made from the beginning of the season will be put towards humanitarian relief in Ukraine. Uh, I am, of course, referencing the poorly timed thing with the invasion of Ukraine by Russia. Uh, so they probably were like, oh, my God, we can't delay the season because it's not going to you know the war's not going to end so yeah. we're going to have to release this and just not talk about it cuz they definitely could not have released a trailer with a tank breaking through walls <laughs> calling it the resistance season so you know unfortunate timing but they made the best of it with saying hey we'll donate from these from this period of time to this period of time to the humanitarian relief to aid which is a lot of money by the way Fortnite makes a lot of money. That's yeah, be they big do. Ass shit. It's, whew. Alex, you're going to check out the season. Also to note, they took away building oh, for 10 days. So I believe it launched Monday or Tuesday, and it will be no building for 10 days. No building like, like at all. No building. You cannot build in Fortnite right now. If you go play Fortnite right now, you mm. will. You, they have basically upped your mobility, so you can jump really fast, you can run very fast, you can slide... Things of that nature. Oh, yeah, you can climb buildings and stuff, I've noticed. Yeah. yeah, but you cannot build. You can't make a wall. You cannot make ramps. Actually, the narrative of the opening of the season is the invaders have taken your building away. I don't know how they do that, but they did. Um, but uh, And that's the kind of opening season narrative is you, you need to take I'll the probably, power back from them. I'll probably jump on just to try that out without it, and everybody building like a tower in front of me. So I could try that. Maybe I'll have a chance this time. Maybe you'll have a chance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The one thing, uh, and I haven't played Fortnite in a while to, to really say this, but one thing that, yeah. that turned people off uh, that they kind of fixed in the last few seasons is um, Fortnite has been out for so long, so you, you would sometimes yeah. get in matches with people you had no chance of winning against. Oh, God, no. So As soon as I go up to somebody and I literally just see a tower spawn in like two seconds, I'm like, nope. They've made the leaning tower of Pisa in 0 0.05 seconds, and you're like, ah, what do I do? Yep. So it is pretty... I, th I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I'll be shocked if this does not stay as a limited time mode in some way. Um, I, will not, I, will, I will be shocked if they do not keep no building as a mode, because it does seem kind of popular. I know a lot of people have... Um, had, this has up... Like, kind of similar to what you were mentioning. This has kind of upped their bravado of Fortnite. Like, oh, I, yeah. I can finally fight people. So Because I, I don't have to worry about building mansions yeah, I, every time I fight that, somebody. So, Oh, yeah. That's what it turned on a lot of people for Fortnite. They're like, oh, God, this building crap again. Like, a lot of people do not like the building stuff. Yeah, which is... I know that's the point of Fortnite. But the point isn't what I'm trying to say, I guess. I, I, I guess it at least makes them unique, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so that was the thing that made them different from every other Battle Royale. Yeah. Uh, is you could build now. That did get out of hand because you do have these oh, my God. videos of people building to, like, <laughs> to whatever place you want to get, call it, like in the sky. So I yep. do get people's here, frustrations. Like, Minecraft, like one block at a time. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got kind of into Fortnite, like, I mean, now talking, Jesus, like two years ago, I think now. I mean, it's been a while since like, I've been really into it. So I can't really talk to mm -hmm. the state of the game as it is now. Um, mm -hmm. But I am excited to check it out. I do want to play at least a match in no building. Um, oh, and they added tanks, yeah. too, uh, which look f <laughs> really strong. Uh, really? I saw, yeah, I saw a quick Twitch stream. Uh, people were, like, hit someone for, like, 100 damage, and it's, like, just a giant take shot, and just murdered them. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, you can't cool. have a, there's no wall for you to cover yourself now. Nope, nope. And I'll, it would be really, I would be real. I would love to talk to, like, a younger, because, it's you know, the, it's a lot of younger kids play. I'd love to talk to a younger kid to see if they, what they think. Like, if they have a similar thought of, like, you'd have, or, and a lot of other people have, like, hey, I, you know, 
I don't have to worry about building. Or are they the opposite? And like, doesn't your little brother love Fortnite? He does. I, I should actually ask him. I, what yeah. does he think? I should. That's a good. That's a good point. I should. Yeah, I, my little call. brother likes Fortnite. I have to ask him as well. Yeah, yeah, because he probably is playing the season right now. So I might. I'll, I'll, and on the next probably. video, I'll, hold on. Let me. See. I'll send him a text and see if he'll answer me during the episode. He's gonna but, be like, "What? I'm in the middle of a game." He's like, I'm, "Hold on, I'm killing some scrubs." <laughs> Yeah, because um, I saw him join again on last night, and I'm just like, but that's probably all he's doing. Yeah, my little brother loves. I mean, it's you. I mean, all kids love, it, right? Oh, like, all it's, kids love Fortnite. The yeah. Fortnite never ended. It just stopped being headlines every day. That's no, the yeah, only, that's the only I thing mean, that changed. Was, yeah, because it was just like we needed something new. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm. I'll probably try it just to see what this whole non-building thing is, and then probably never go back. And to then it never again. go back to it again. Yeah. Yeah, as much as I wanted to play last season because I really wanted Spider Man, I never got, I never played it. I got I to like tier characters. fifty, and that was it. I got yeah, I don't need yeah. God, yeah, so many characters. Alex, let's talk about the Ori developers. Now, Ori I read this uh, uh, from Dean Takahashi over on GameSpeed. Detailed alleged toxic work environment, or at the or uh, at Ori's developing studio, Moon Studios. A couple things have been alleged. Let's give some examples. There was a company chat that the founders used to communicate with various employees. And in this open chat, allegedly the chat was used in some unprofessional impro- ways to say the least. Uh, here's one quote. Quote, uh, Tyler is the only, and this is uh, via a direct employee. Uh, and this is a direct quote from this. So, uh, quote, Tyler is the only person who is aware of my devious plans to kill the Jews by making them work to death through a game development. End quote. This is, uh, this, the person who said this is Thomas Mailer. This is the founder of the studio. Now, this is a couple of uh, things I want to follow up with this very quickly. Mm-hmm. These are jokes said out of context. Regardless of that fact, you are still at work. So you are still at fault for all these things. Currently, yep. there are no lawsuits or any of that nature pending. These oh, are just no. things that have been shown and alleged, and I even say alleged. There are screenshots of the chats, so, you, you know, pretty damning. Uh, these guys probably said all these things, but I will say, when you, re- when you read a joke out of context, it's going to sound horrible, but still, you were in a professional setting. It's kind of on you that yeah. you fucked up this bad, uh, that you got articles written about you. Uh, yeah. There's also various jokes made about their penis sizes as the founders, which is even more hilarious that these guys are just having open chats about their dicks on company chat chat rooms. Alex, put your mind for a second and, and just think about, frankly, the balls it takes to go, I'm going to joke about my dick. And see, in my With mind, my employees. Look, out of my mind right now, I'm thinking, I was like, like some people are like, I was like, oh, you know, why are they talking like this? This is so bad. In my mind, I'm like, are they not busy making games? Like, what? Yeah, they got like, a lot of free time on their hand. Yeah, obviously, they have so dicks. much free time. Yeah, they obviously, they, oh, my God, it's so weird. Yeah, this is very strange. Uh, if you want a full, like, kind of scope on the, the feature, game speed, of course. Um, and I also saw uh, uh, Jeff Grubb mention that this is actually partly the reason, apparently, apparently, Xbox kind of moved away with their partnership with Moon Studios because they heard there was some par- t- terrible stuff happening. Um, my response to that is I'm not saying that is true or false. But, you know, I trust Jeff Grubb. Uh, he probably is right. I will say to that, though, is pretty hilarious that you have a problem with them and had no problem making everyone at Blizzard and Activision insanely rich. So that's a, a pretty hypocritical if that is what you did. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, I don't care, but I just thought that was... Very interesting to read Jeff Grubb say that he knows for a fact Xbox saw they had issues and were like, we got to get out of here. But also lining Activision Blizzard's pockets almost at the same time <laughs> uh, uh, as doing that. So I do trust Jeff Grubb, but also if that is true, my God, that is mighty hypocritical to say the least. Hmm? Alex, anything to, uh, to know? on? I know you, you, you no, probably I don't. Just... This is just, you know... So, a sucky work environment, seemingly. Uh, a lot of people have left uh, because of such behavior. I just think it's weird that we, uh, that people have time to do that stuff, and not, like I'm like, aren't you like 
trying to be aren't you in the middle of like of game developing like don't you have any better things to do yeah i i agree i mean yeah they know one that likes cracking a joke as much as i have but i've been in professional settings i'm not joking about my dick yeah, yeah like, <laughs> so, like really so you gotta really uh know your boundaries like I, my, my my guy <laughs> know your boundaries bro yeah it's no boundaries there alex hmm. haven studios was purchased over the last week Everyone at home, if you're a steady listener of the podcast, you will remember we actually covered Haven Studios opening by Jade Raymond. Now, if you remember Jade Raymond, she is the person who has not released a game in like 10 years because her things keep getting canceled, uh, which is unfortunate to say the least. But I will say, if they were this quickly, first off, they, they started a partnership when they opened Haven with PlayStation. Then e- before they have released a game or have even shown what they're working on, have been purchased. Alex, this is su- this is surprising to say the least. Uh, they yeah. have not. They we don't even know. We know they're working on a what multiplayer they're game. Working on yeah, we know they're working on a multiplayer game. That's so it. So the PlayStation must see some good potential or something in that. They to saw really, to something that made them go. They're like, yeah, we want this. Yeah, we'll we'll take this. We'll definitely take this. Uh, people have noted. Uh, and I think rightly so, that actually Haven is located in Quebec? Quebec? Should be Quebec. They're in Canada. I know that for sure. I just want to make sure it's in Quebec. But uh, to bring that up, Alex, I don't know if you know this. Uh, you, you're really into movies, so you might. Mm. They get large, large amounts of money through kind of tax credit, financial assistance type things for arts. So if you somehow incorporate Canada in various ways in your game or, you know, release it in French is like a way of getting more money and things like that. They will give you like 30 to 37 percent of like... Uh, of like your, what was the word? I'm already blanking on like, because I re- I read the like the legal mumble jumbo of it, but basically like they'll give you like thirty to thirty five percent of like a tax deduction, which gives you a shit ton of money. Oh no, it's labor. They give you um thirty to thirty five percent of your like labor coverage, like and you get like free healthcare because you know you're in Canada and things of that sort. So yeah. wild to say the least, that could be one of the reasons that they wanted to purchase them so so quickly, and they are based in Montreal, by the way. Um, Got it. so that could that could be a reason that you get huge tax tax breaks because you're in there because uh, Canada so that could be a reason this is also their first Canadian based studio uh, they have they, you know, they have studios in Europe they have Japan America yeah. this is the first studio in Canada so this kind of adds to their repertoire of I believe they're at like 18 or 19 studios now and by the way this was founded March 16th of 2021, so almost a perfect year of them being open. They are, they are, per, they are purchased. Uh, by the way, the founders, Jade Raymond, Paula Jouyaux, Leon O'Reilly, Daniel Dupre, Matthew Ledeck. They're all the founders. Hmm. I'm sure are all very rich now. Oh, Alex, any thoughts on this? Now, this does a number of things for PlayStation portfolio. They have a Canadian-based studio now. Uh, yep. They get to reap all the rewards financially of that through their tax system. Uh, you get to have a multiplayer suite at a, that they that we see an increasingly multiplayer focused PlayStation are slowly rise up. Lest we forget, Herman Holst himself said, "Not Herman Holst, I'm sorry." Uh, Jim Ryan himself said they wanted no less than like like what was it like 18 games uh, online games launched by 2026. It was or something yeah. like that. It was, like so, a whole, it was like a bunch. So th- this is a starting point to say the least. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Um, no, I'm, I, I feel like PlayStation definitely sees some type of potential with this uh, studio because I was like, the, what, why all the reason would it be? And this will be studio number 16, I believe, that they would have because I was just counting 16. all of them. Yeah. Okay. I think there's 18. Cause 18. Well, I saw I Gorilla wrong. and then Gorilla... Um, a Cambridge is that I'm assuming that's two different studios, yeah. Where's that? Like, okay, yeah, so it should be two counts. different, studios. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's I counted 15, and then this one, including, is so uh, wow, 
yeah, but they're oh they're oh there they are. There's a bunch of them right here. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're no, they're bringing up their studio list. I'm wondering why are they trying to catch up to Xbox? Like, I mean, like I don't know if they're still trying to do this, like trying to compete, or they just uh, try. They just see uh, a lot of opportunity. Yeah, there's. I mean, we could talk this in a number of different ways. Now, this could be an opportunistic thing, right? Buy them mm-hmm. low before they're expensive. They could, right? yeah. Before yeah, they, they release never, a game. Bring, mm-hmm, and it's or, really good. And, or, and Alex, we've talked about a number of show. We are in a, uh, a seller's market in gaming studio terms. Um, yeah. If you don't know what that is, seller's market means the sellers own the market. They're, they're selling for high numbers, and maybe they want to start buying studios before they get priced out by Microsoft, by Tencent, uh, by all these other entities that are purchasing um uh what's another one i mean we can go on and on with these people that just constantly are buying studios i mean jesus mm. just with tencent and microsoft are huge stipends of the industry that are just gonna buy another one yeah they are they are, definitely are in within the next week and a half they will have bought a new studio i guarantee you um but <laughs> yeah i i do think that there I, th- I think this is a number of reasons one adds a multiplayer game to their studio whatever they're seeing by the way it's only been a year they don't have a lot to show so they yeah, something yeah. something in alpha looks incredible to them. I don't even know if they would have alpha at this point. And then and no, they would. Right? I don't know. And not important. Something in pre uh, like pre alpha something is, is so promising that they're like they're, we yeah. have to jump on this before they start getting recognized elsewhere. Yeah, and well, maybe they hey, got yeah. it for pennies on the dollar. Maybe it was really cheap, and they were like, you know, because. Achiever. Whatever I've said that, life I've said this, service game they're making, it they, they must be good. And I say this a number of times. Like, there's people all the time, hypothetically walking around. How much would it take to buy you? Microsoft has yeah. asked EA how much. Probably like three times in the last five years. Just mm-hmm. there's these conversations constantly going. Representatives talk to each other. You know, all these people talk to each other all the time. High accountants and things. There, they're always having conversation. How how much? Maybe. As soon as they opened, they asked how much, and maybe the dollar was right, and they were like, "Yeah, we'll we'll take it for that." Um, no details of how much has been given out. Uh, we probably won't ever, won't hear it because uh, it's probably very, very private. They barely probably have people even hired on yet, so so it's probably yeah. not share. They probably got a large sum cut between those five people. Very excited to see because uh, Haven Studios was pretty hyped up by the industry as large. Very curious to see what this game is going to be, and yep. when we see um, something. I follow the studios, by the way. It's 21 studios, and then the Gorilla Jesus. Cambridge, they had closed, so that was... Uh, that okay. Was, yeah. Thank you. That was... Yep. But, like, yeah, there's a total list, and it's 20, 21 studios, including Haven. Including Haven. I need, I need to... Yep. Microsoft is almost impossible now, but I gotta, like, sit down and, like, memorize these lists. <laughs> there's even so one on here. Nixus Software, and it yeah. supports studio Nixus. known for porting games to yeah, we covered, Microsoft. Yeah, we covered them. They, they bought... Um, yeah. Their purchase... Less... November? Was it already? No. Was it February? I just like that studio specifically for that. <laughs> yeah, they they are they're the porting studio that's going to move their games to PC. That's basically mm-hmm. what they're there for is to help yeah. with PC ports. Alex, GDC happened. The Games Developer yeah. Conference happened, and we had some Game Pass stats for you. Not only do we have Games Pass stats, there's a very weird thing that happened that not a lot of people are talking about that I want to cover too. Okay. So some qu- quick stats that I found. Uh, subs- they're saying subscribers play 40% more games after joining Game Pass. Um, games on average see 8.3% lift in players. So as soon as you join, you see at least eight times the player base. Day one launches see 3.5% lifts in players for large publishers. Indies is 15 times. Uh, it's crazy numbers. Subscribers spend 50% more on Xbox. So apparently when you subscribe, you actually spend more versus the mentality that most people think um, that when you subscribe, all you do is wait for Game Pass games. Maybe that's not true. Mm-hmm. Maybe not. Who knows? Their data. You can make data look any way you want, but yeah. yeah. And indies see triple digit revenue growth. So they're saying indies make a lot of money. I did want to quickly bring up um, an observation that was made on the uh, thing because this was actually a Phil Spencer and Sarah Bonds conversation that they were having. What they were talking about specifically, uh, Phil brought up the question of that some indies have is like hey is is it game pass or bust 
can I launch on your platform and still be viable? You're giving away Game Pass games. So how, how do you make a dollar when you're an indie developer? And he tried to, you know, he, on a, on a, it kind of seemed like he was skirting the question a little bit. He was like, no, you know, it's important for uh, our P&L to all revenues retail at just a developer. You know, he didn't really super answer the question, but he did bring up the fact that like, hey, we are looking at other ways of helping people out, not just Game Pass, but I don't know about that. I did think that was an interesting bring up, and I actually wanted to pose the question on onto you, Alex. What do you think of that kind of notion that when you're an indie developer and you're going on to Xbox, I would be pretty afraid to launch not on Game Pass, and that doesn't sound like great for the health of your ecosystem when no, it kind yeah. of feels like, hey, uh, we, you know, I've, I'm guilty of it, and I, I don't know if you are too, we may see an indie game that launches on Game Pass or on Xbox, and we might go. We're more uh, inclined we'll, to try it. We'll maybe wait for it to come to Game Pass, which technically yeah. makes them lose the sale. What do you think? No, yeah, no, I definitely agree with that because, um, like, I mean, what was it? Uh, what's the like? Uh, for example, Tunic. I like it. Looks cool. Uh, I'm in. I'm debate. I'm in, I'm debating on trying it. If it wasn't on Game Pass, more likely I'm not gonna pay for this game. I mean, I'm sure it's a great game, but I just I have other things that I I want to buy. Um, but it's since it, since it is on Game Pass, I mean, do they lose the sale? But I mean, I am trying the game, so I mean, but and do we? I don't remember. Does do they get a certain cut since it's on Game Pass? Very unclear how Game Pass works. Okay, there's been a couple um, things that have been brought out like you get a certain percentage based on how many people play the game. Apparently, a lot of it, the way it works is you get an upfront payment. This is how much you're getting. You know, you don't get any more. I think some games say they'll get a little bit of both. They'll get a lump sum payment. Plus, if, you, if we notice a high percentage of people playing your game, mm-hmm. then we'll also give you yeah. X amount at X, I don't, you know. Yeah, but, I do like the option though that you can get though. Like, like let's say it is on Game Pass, and um, you do have the option to buy it at a discount. So be like, so if you do want to own it, you can still get it. So like, I do like that, but it is a little, it is a little hard to figure out if it's hurting them in the long run. Because yeah, I, I mean, mean they, like, let's say, like, let's say, let's say, I mean, like, I I had the chance to play Tunic. Don't know if I'm gonna play it, even if it is on Game Pass. I mean. I'm not saying it's like I said. I'm not saying it's a bad game. I just don't have time for but, it. But yeah, you can only. Yeah, I don't have time for it. So like, does that? So like, what if they did? Does, so now am I not helping them get sales? Like you know, it's weird. It is weird. Now I, what do you think of the notion that? Let's say we make a game called Game B. Okay. Do you think Game B has a good chance of succeeding not on Game Pass? And we are indie. It's a budget game. It looks pretty budget, right? You can kind of tell it's indie, but it does look fun. Do you think? Do you think an indie developer looks at the game pad, or sorry, the Xbox ecosystem on the publishing side of things, saying, "Hey, let's release digitally on Xbox." Don't you feel like you almost have to be on Game Pass to make yes. money? Yeah, I agree yes. too. I know, yeah, I, I, too. I, I think no, I do because you have a very low, uh, you bet you have a very high risk of if it's not on Game Pass, your game will probably not be seen. You're probably not, I'm never gonna. That look was at the that word game. I was thinking of discoverability. That's the word yeah. I was thinking of as well. Yeah, it's, like, yeah, who I mean, hardcores, I know, I know there's hardcore Xbox people patrolling the stores every day. Oh, yeah, who, there's not that many. <laughs> mm, yeah, how many people are. I'll be honest, like that's I think that is one downside that kind of made me think about it through this interview. It's kind of one downside of Game Pass is if you're an indie dev, I mean, unless you have a great PR or maybe a great uh advertising venture, how do you launch on Xbox without feeling like you have to talk to the Game Pass people and be like, hey, you know, can we get on Game Pass and Without getting on Game Pass, I do kind of agree. Like, how do you get discovered? How how do you find a game? Yeah. Most people like, who have Game Pass go straight to Game Pass. They're not going to the Xbox Store. They're already paying a for lot Game of in- Pass. 
and a lot of indie de- a lot of indie games don't really do a lot of marketing unless it's a triple a title of course because they don't have the money like where, yeah I exactly mean, they'll make you know they'll make the way the most they can afford you know a lot of indie people the most they can afford is paying a streamer to play the game that has a couple hundred or, or like me and alex they give them the game and hopefully they talk about it on a podcast and they and they yeah. get it that way and they get kind of like a you know free ish kind of marketing yeah like let's thing. see uh this re- this latest game that came out on here on game pass it's called tainted grail conquest i'm never gonna know what that is because i unless i'm on game pass yeah, yeah. i see it on game pass and it's a 20 dollar game i want to it... know what is the percentage of people who own game pass who still visit the store frequently do they see a noticeable decline in store visitation with game pass subscriptions because i would feel like yes because I remember the days, Alex, maybe you agree. You know, I'd patrol the store every now and then. I'd get on the store, hey, what's new releases? What are, what's coming out? I still do that, so I can't speak for myself. I, yeah, I still, I still kind of do, but I'm, I'm kind of trying to get in ahead of someone who might. I, I get you. I, I, I still kind of do it a little bit, but not, not as much as I used to. No, that's for sure. a lot of the time I do, just go check on what's, game, what's on Game Pass. Yeah. I mean, uh, I literally, even before I patrol the store, I check Game Pass first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like even because I I still do patrol the store all the time, but like I still check Game Pass list first to see what they added. Like that Grail game I just said, I didn't know that was added. That was added literally either today or yesterday, because I was on it two days ago. That wasn't on there. Shredders was the last game I saw. So like they add games constantly. So like you have to be look. You have to use Game Pass as your your store. Like you kind of scroll it, but if it's not on Game Pass. I feel like discoverability is going to be very rare. That's almost that's almost how Apple Arcade works too. Yeah. The App Store is a fucking oh my god wasteland wasteland. G- good luck, good luck finding a video game at the App Store. It's a it's just nonsense. It's like it's like, it's like the What's eShop. It's so it's it's way worse. I do agree. No, for sure. But it's, it's worse, way but... worse. It's so it's unusable. Yeah. It so, so it reminds much. me it's it's a less extreme version of Apple Arcade. Who looks on new releases on Apple Arcade? Or sorry, on app on app stores. Like a, a, like game store on your no no one. Because <laughs> it's a wasteland of garbage. Like it's yeah. just a wasteland of garbage. So, I am hoping that does not become our gaming consoles cuz it does feel like we are slowly heading in that direction. Mm. And also I do hope that indies do not feel compelled to use the service, although I th- I think you almost should. I think I think you have you have less you have more risk of not being on it. I do too. Yeah. I do too. I think I agree with that too. This is a great conversation. Maybe we should have this and just a show by itself and just talk about that because it's it's a great conversation. And I do think we talk it. We're so positive about Game Pass. We yeah. should we should at least bring up the negatives it has. The and negatives, I, and, yeah, I, and sure. I think that is one big negative. How the hell do you get discovered when you're not on Game Pass? Because that's what Xbox wants you to be on. Yeah. Who knows? This is also important to know. It's very hilarious during the GDC talk. If you want to go, it's an actual video you can watch with Phil and Sarah Bond talking. Um, when they bring up subscription service, Sarah Bond says, and I quote, um, this is around the 16, 12 minute mark, by the way, in the video. So 16, 12, if you want to see her say this, quote, Sony has announced theirs, end quote referencing sony's gaming subscription service read read, 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 see if i can keep keep you with me sarah bond 1612 in the video when asked about how subscription service on xboxes are utilizing certain things and you know how they're doing and things like that um she basically brings up how it is a like it's a known quantity in the gaming space and then brings up Sony has announced their subscription service. Pretty hilarious that she has said Sony has announced their subscription services. Either A, a slip of the tongue. Clearly yeah. Spartacus, the rumor, has not been announced yet. Yeah. B, it's supposed to have been announced or Microsoft had assumed it would have already been announced when they recorded yeah. this video. Maybe they recorded this two weeks ago. Who knows? 
God knows when they record. It's just a video. We don't know when they did this. No, for sure. Or three, we're reading way too much into this, and it was just maybe she, maybe it's not necessarily a slip of the tongue. Maybe she is referencing Spartacus in the way that it has been rumored specifically, and she's like stating like, "Hey, they announced theirs." Like, but well, they yeah, they really. announced they are they are they they announced that they are working on something. So that is their announcement. So. I don't even think they've announced that they are working on a subscription service, have they? PlayStation? Yeah. I thought they said that they announced that they are working on a on a on a some type of service to resemble Game Pass. I think that was the report like at the time. I don't think PlayStation thought- like came out and said we are doing a subscription service. I think it was a report at the time that Jason Schreier did, I think. Or Jeff Grubb. One of those two. Which is the only two that would be doing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> pretty, pretty good chance that's one of them. I don't, think, I don't think someone at Sony came out and said, we are working on Game Pass competitor. Could be wrong. That was a long time ago. I know exactly what you're saying. I know exactly mm-hmm. what you're... Like, the event you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I believe that was a report made by someone who was hearing that the rumors that they were making a Game Pass competitor pretty sure there was so there was an article uh, there was an article on march 8th on, on comic book uh, com by logan moore and it says the new playstation it says he said that it says new playstation now service could become available very soon i don't know what he meant by that i don't know from what they from what they said or from what we from the leak unclear I don't know if, yeah. unimportant semantics really yeah regardless yeah the, he, she could have also meant that that in some way, they did announce that they're working on something. Mm. And this is, so I thought it was just interesting to bring up. It was very weird to see that. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Did you think that they would have already announced it, maybe? Or again, are we reading two months into this? Who knows? Who knows? Let's move on. Alex, that's the news. Let's move into the date updates for the week. Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed has been revealed. This is a 4v1 asymmetrical multiplayer game coming to PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series S and X in Q4 2022. Alex, did you see this? This looks kind of cool. Yep. So, it's like Evolve, but with Ghostbusters. So, it's four mm. people ghostbusting a ghost. The ghost seemingly... Excuse me. There's, there's a preview, I believe, out. They can go watch. But, it, uh, from what I've... Uh, ascertained is you can either be a ghost or you can be one of the ghostbusters um it's made by ilphonic who made predator hunting grounds and friday the 13th mm. um if you are the ghost you can um inhabit things like you can possess and be a chair uh you can make things move around i i don't know what you're uh i missed what you are doing as a ghost like what how do you win i don't i don't know how you do that maybe you kill the ghostbusters i don't know yeah um Obviously, if you're the Ghostbuster, you're trying to bust the ghost, you're trying to capture the ghost. You do have uh, equipment, just like Predator Hunting Grounds. You have the trap. You have the, uh, I think, proton wands. I'm pretty sure is what they're called. Um, pro- you have the no, proton yeah, pack things. You know, yeah. so you're, you're, you're capturing ghosts. It looks really cool. The trailer is out of Achievers. If you want to go watch it, I would put it on, but I don't want to get demonetized, so I'm not going to put it out. But <laughs> we speak. We spoke of this already. <laughs> yeah, but there, that is out there. If you want to go look at it, Alex. Uh, when you have a set, go check it out. I do think you will at least go, hmm. I, I, I think you'll yeah. go, hmm. Will you play I mean, it? I don't know. But you'll go, hmm. I played Evolved, and I enjoyed that when it was a thing. Yeah, before it got, like, oblivioned. Yeah. Update to the Fortnite situation by my real brother. He says, and I quote, kinda. This is to my question, do you like that there is no building in Fortnite? Quote, kind of. It's nice not seeing towers in the sky. End quote. There we go. He's a man of few words. Yep. And that comes from a how, how, how old is he? Don't do that to me. He'd grow up so fast. I want to say he's... Dude, in my mind, I, I keep wanting to say the number eight. He's 10 I plus. Don't know he's 10 plus. He, he, uh, we'll, he say has, yeah. we'll say he's 13. I, 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 okay. Just in case he let's doesn't say, want me to say let's he's just Let's just say he's in, he's in his teens. Yep. Yeah. He's basically... Um, yeah. To me, he's always, he's always going to be eight. <laughs> <laughs> he's always eight. Yeah. Yeah. This is a shocker. Marvel Unlimited is coming to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Unlock three months of Xbox. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Unlock th- three months of Marvel Unlimited free with your Game Pass Ultimate subscription. 
Experience the Marvel Universe with instant access to 29,000 digital comics. Very cool. Achievers, please. Go read comic books. They're dying. <laughs> Use this, please. Go enjoy it. It's really cool. You yeah. pay literally... This will give you three months, but after that, I think you pay... It's like $10, and like you get basically every Marvel comic you'll ever want. So just, just do it, all right? But it's a really cool service. Please go take advantage of it. It is very cool. Read a few comic books that, you, that you've missed. It's a lot of older ones, too. So like if you've you know, ever heard of a cool run of X-Men that you've wanted to read, or maybe there's some Spider-Man comic, uh, I highly recommend Spider-Man Blue. That's on there. Go read that. So there's plenty of other things. If you ever want recommendations, Twitter at EVM9000. I'll tweet a couple at you. <gasps> Suicide Squad has been delayed to spring of 2023. This is confirmed by the rumors that we were talking about that we heard. Yes, Suicide Squad is being delayed. So Rocksteady is delaying the game yet again. Not shocking, I guess. It gives them more time to work on the game. Not only that, it gives them some breathing room from Gotham Knights. I, I did say I would be shocked if those were, were going to release in the same year. Clearly, they're not going to. So that's not happening. You realize Suicide Squad is like... We feel like too much like Far Cry. Mm. <laughs> I would love to know. Oh, excuse me, Chivers. I'm sorry. I would love to know the reason. I'm. 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 I don't think it. It probably is in this extravagant thing, but I would love the reason. Like, hey, you know, what, what's going on? Like, is something broken, or is it just like we just weren't ready? This is probably not. This is. It's probably nothing glamorous. Probably not it probably just isn't ready. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I can only. I don't even know how big that game is gonna be, but I imagine it's pretty large. Yeah, for sure. A lot Alex. of bugs. They don't need a game breaking bug. Alex, mm. that's the news for the week. And of course, you know me. I'm a man that likes to end things like I began them. One singular question, just like I started the show. But before we do that. I remind the achievers that you can, of course, like, comment, subscribe on this video. That helps us out incredibly with the algorithms. You can then go over to a podcast service of your choice that you're listening to on right now and give us a five-star review. And remember, Spotify now does five-star reviews. That helps us out tremendously. Comments and things like that. Basically, any sort of algorithmic thing you can do to our, our video or podcast helps us out incredibly. So please, if you have a second, like, comment, subscribe, you know, go to the podcast service of your choice. And then remember, if you want to support us financially, of course, do this only if you have the buck. These are pennies a day. You can head over to patreon.com. You can get, literally give us $1 every single month. That helps us get us one step closer to making this a little bit better every single time. Every dollar, a little bit better every single time. Thank you so much for thinking about that and giving us your consideration. Also, thank you for listening to this point in the video. You've made it all the way to the end, so you get a gold star for the day. There you go. You got a gold star. Look at you. Do you remember when you used, we used to get so excited for those? Man. I got the smiley faces when I was a, yeah, a younger yeah, lad. Yeah. So you got like a smiley face sticker. It mm -hmm. was a good day. The color mattered. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got the green color. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I, mean, I miss those days. When you just, you got a sticker and that was your everything day. Was, you're like, everything you're, was so simple. Every, yeah, you got the sticker or you didn't. You walk, yeah, you got a sticker and you walk down, you walk down, the, down the hallway like Tobey Maguire. That's a, that's all you do. I didn't, you know, would have been so happy. It'd have been so funny if he would have done that in that movie. They were cowards. They, they, they didn't want to. They didn't want to do it. Too much power. Mm -hmm. Alex, mm. that one question I wanted to ask you: What do you have queued up for the week? Now, what is queued up? Now, this could be, of course, a video game, a uh, a video game, a comic, a book, some sort of TV show, movie, anything. This isn't only for Alex, this is for you at home. What do you have queued up for the week? It could be some sort of book that you've been waiting on. This TV show that you are gripped by, or this telling tale that you can't get your eyes off of. What do you have queued up for the week? Oh, of course, more Odin Ring. Trying to see if I can uh, do my next playthrough this week. Um, I've actually been listening to a book, uh, Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. It's really good. I enjoy it a lot. If you like Norse Mythology, it's really good stories. Uh, cool thing. Um, Valhalla actually got those stories pr uh, like pretty close, like the DLCs in Valhalla. Yeah, yeah, they got those stories pretty close. I, I I was listening to the book and I was like, hey, I remember this. They did this in the game. I in can't Assassin's quite remember. Creed did Assassin's Creed Valhalla include the time that Loki was fucked by a horse and then birthed it? Did they? I don't. Mm, so no, no, oh, they didn't. They didn't. Got no, it. Just double checking. No. No, they didn't do that. 
That's but, real. Uh, Jesus, yeah, that's but they real. Did, they, they, yes. Yeah, they did. <laughs> he birthed it. That happened. That was a real story that was told. They did and, do that. Uh, they did the the master builder, which was that was super cool. Yeah. And he was actually a giant and stuff. That was pretty cool. The Lego movie. I know what you're talking about. What? <laughs> if you I remember the you so Lego much. movie, he had a, he was a master builder. I hate you so much. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, no, it's just more that I gotta catch up on shows because I'm watching Vikings Valhalla. Um, Is that good? Do I need to watch that? I like it. It's just uh, it's just uh, continuing Vikings, but like just new characters. Okay. So I'm enjoying it because it's the same world. Did you see that just... Flash got renewed again? <laughs> what? Yeah, it got renewed. I thought they said season eight was the last one. They lied to your face. So they're season nine now. It got renewed. It, I read that. It's a real fact. I, I, you know, because I'm okay, telling you, it, it, it's flash renewed. It, it's it, it's getting a little too much now, people. Uh, sorry. So hold on. It would be season nine. Yeah, renewed for season nine. Yes, it was. Yep. Yeah. The flash was renewed for season nine of CW and has been renewed for. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Nice. What are they gonna keep doing? <laughs> nice, nice. I feel like they have to run out of ideas. All dude. American, Riverdale, Flash, Walker, Texas Ranger are all things that have been renewed. <laughs> Lois and Clark has also been renewed. That, really it's a good show. Or Superman I, and Lois. Sorry, Superman and Lois. Yeah. Um, I haven't got a chance to watch season two yet, but I've heard it's pretty cool. So, the Flash had wait. Did they? So they had a final season. And they're... So season eight was supposed to be the last season. At least that's what I've heard. That's what I had heard. Are you and caught up with the show? So I'm not on. I haven't watched season eight yet. Oh, okay. I'm curious on I'm how on... final it was since they thought it was their last season. <laughs> You're like, I don't know. Maybe they thought they were going to get canceled. I don't know. I guess uh, we'll see. The, the boss address, let me see, the, whether the show will be renewed. I don't know what the future holds, is what they'd ask if, <laughs> uh, if, if they were going to get a season nine. He's like, I Obviously, said, I they're getting know. a ninth season. Uh, he's like, I don't know. I bet you Grant Gustin is like, dude, I can't run this much anymore. No, he's ecstatic. He's like, keep oh, signing bad. my checks, bitches. He's, yeah, got I mean, he's, he's, on, he's on his seventh Ferrari at this point. I much you want to bet he's going to do a uh, 10 seasons like Smallville did. Hey, you keep paying Flash them, has been the best CW show that they've had, so. Period? So far, uh, like, I think The Flash is probably the best one. And then the, the next one, I would say I, I'm really already enjoying Lo uh, Superman and Lois. So that's already up there? Yeah. Okay. And then, of course, I mean, I did enjoy Arrow the first couple seasons, but then they started going, nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. getting weird. Yeah. Don't even get me started on Legends of Tomorrow. I stopped watching it like season four. I couldn't four. even watch it. I stopped on season three or four, and there's season seven right now. I'm I like, couldn't what? even watch it. I what is happening? Watch it. I saw that show, and I was like, I, how do I care? How, how am I supposed to care? I watched the first two episodes. I was like, I don't give a fuck about any of these people. I just Bad don't. Woman is pretty, Bad Woman's really good. They're out they got my season. man Brandon Ralph in a fucking Adam costume. Get this man in a Superman costume or get out of here. Yeah. Get out. Yep. They got you. They got him in the Superman costume, and they said never again. Never again. Because he's not. He's not in the show. Or he's not in uh, Legend of Superheroes anymore, or Legend of Tomorrow, whatever the fuck it's called. They're like he probably saw. He's like, yeah, I was really good at Superman, and I'm not coming back to this. You remember in Superman Returns when he had an illegitimate son? That was a weird movie. <laughs> just, yeah. He had a he had a son, and then they they pretended like it was. Uh, I don't know. Is that all anyway. your shows, Alex? <laughs> no, not, not. I have so many shows to watch. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. I still got so many animes to watch. I want to finish Attack on Titan. I'm so behind on this season, dude. I um that I want to watch uh, Vinland Saga, which is apparently a good uh, Viking anime. I've heard. I want to watch My Hero because I, I was watching it. I was like, damn, this is actually it's pretty cool, dude. Not there's so much. I've given up. You're not gonna watch it. It's fine. You're not going to watch it. It's all good. I mean, I'll watch it eventually, dude. No. Yeah, I will. 
I will. But see, that guy has, I got so many games from now this. Uh, we're on March twenty third, twenty twenty two. March 23rd, 2023, Alex will not have watched My Hero Academia. Mmm, they want to make that a bet. Yeah, put, I'll put it in my calendar right now. Okay. How, what are we betting? <laughs> hey, Siri. Remind me <laughs> March 23rd, 2023 to see if Alex watched My Hero Academia. <laughs> there we go. Anyways, I didn't, hear, I didn't hear it talk back to you. It's because she didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's why. Anyways, anyways, I don't have much queued up. I don't really have much to add to this. I'm going to be very busy over the weekend with being married and all yeah, those you types are. of things. <laughs> I, will be, I will be very busy, so I probably will not do anything other than play Horizon every now and then. Aside from that. Yeah. This is probably why this episode might be going up early. (laughs) Yeah, probably. Yeah, we're going to try and get this up as early as we can because we don't want to be late since we're already recording early. Uh, You know, so. Exciting, though. We will have an Elder Ring spoiler cast for you very soon. Very soon. We will try to get that done over the weekend, if not earlier. Yes. We will try to get that done. I don't even. I don't. I don't even know how to make a spoiler cast for that thing. We're just gonna There's be discussing so much content. We're just gonna be discussing the game. Okay, and, you know, God. review discussion. We'll talk about bosses. Well. Open we'll world. Talk about bosses, we'll make our favorite points. stuff. Yeah. Alex, um, I didn't know there was wall cover in Star Wars. What? What is that? Uh, in Star Wars, Lego Star Wars. Literally, you just see Princess Leia run like third person, and she just wall covers. Oh with yeah, a gun. yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. like, well, there's a wall cover now. Yeah, yeah. They got. Kinda, I was like, this is getting, cool. They're getting kind of serious with it. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's funny because they made the Lego people reactive. So like, when you shoot them in yeah. the foot, they'll grab their foot. It's like, what the fuck? That's funny. I don't yeah, like no, that I, these things have feelings. <laughs> I'm so excited. And then now the and now the Lego enemies have health bars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm I'm excited to play this game. Very excited to play. Check out Lego Star Wars uh, Skywalker Saga if you want to. Me and Alex will be playing that very soon in the coming yeah, weeks. He shot his foot. <laughs> so, so be prepared for that. Uh, Alex, that's what I had queued up for the week. More Horizon, like I said. No, nothing nothing to write home Platinum about. Planet. 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 Anything you want to leave for the Achievers until we see them next time. Go play some games. And on that note, Go Chief. Go Chief.